Hello my friends of Catarilla House, my name is Ur Montoya, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about how to run a simple mod, uh, open form example model with Paraform in Windows 10. Okay, we have done uh, another tutorial that this is the complement of this tutorial, so let me show you which is the, the other tutorial. Okay, this tutorial is... This one, wow, one month ago, more than one month ago. Okay, this is the first tutorial, yeah, where all the steps are here. With this tutorial, you will end up here, this. So you, on your Ubuntu kernel, you will have, with the tutorial, you will have simple form help. You will have the... Open form install. But right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to run a sample model and then we are going to implement Xmin, that is a server that it will is useful to run Paraform, I mean, a visualization engine that will uh, integrate it with Open form. And those are tools that are actually native on your Ubuntu installation, but it's possible to do it in Windows and it's very practical. Okay? So what are you going to do? You are going to go to this. You are going to go here. And this is, is a redirect to open form. And they say your download will start shortly and automatically it will start downloading. Okay, I have it or I have it already downloaded. So here I have my and the installation is pretty simple, just do double click, it will ask uh, for administration or for some special permits, okay, next, 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 and install, but I, I have already installed, and then you, I, I won't do it, cancel, I, I will do cancel because I have already installed, okay, uh, I strongly recommend that you, um, that you, I will strongly recommend that you um, restart your computer because sometimes in Windows things won't happen if you don't restart. Okay, and you will find this is not my main screen, but here you will find uh, the the X that means that the X that the X mean is is running. If it doesn't, if it doesn't appear, just look for X mean. Okay. And this actually, okay, the icon actually is this, it's a, it's a server that is running on the background. So you don't have to do it, nothing, because it will be only required by OpenFOAM. So this is just to, to test that it is that it's running, okay? This is, I mean, this will happen if you press to the X that is on on this part of your main window. Okay, great. Kind of complicated. Okay, so let's go to let's go here and let's um, let's add the X min to the to the open phone to open phone installation. So just type this. You don't have, I mean, all the commands that are here are actually on the description of the video. And it will be better just to copy and paste because if you get, if you have an extra space or something like that, it won't run. I mean, you just type enter here. That's great. And with this, you just implement this through the patch rc. That is the input file of. Okay, great. So now you have Xmin integrated in your open form. So let's copy a simple open form exercise. So we are going because we'll, simple because it's a simple solver that is for this solver is for a steady state in cross in compressible turbulent flow. Okay, with this we mm, sorry. 
Okay, with that we have copy. So we put, here we have the pits daily. So it's a pits CD pits daily dear uh, no sorry dear ls okay ls so this is the the those are the open form those are the open form uh, a constant system this is the dictionary file so we are going to to run this so yes clear ls so these are so yes type block mesh okay and then run the kernel not like the solver simple form all the commands are in the description of the video R right now it's iterating the the software it's being iterated and now what else is going to happen is that Okay, now if we type here, we have the result for 100, 200, 288, that these are the times defined on the model. And right now, what it will be amazing that we can, by typing para form, actually it will prevent, it will show you the model. So this is the model, here we can show you the velocity and this is the velocity for the different time steps, okay? In any case that you have a problem related with the libqt5, if in any case you just have to type this, okay? In any case I say, oh this file of the libqt5 doesn't exist, you have just to type this, that is also in the description of the video, okay? It will ask you for your user and that's it okay so yeah, every you have to do it just once so if you type paraform actually it will it will call for for paraview and it and but this call of paraview is on on ubuntu but it will prompt you in windows and this is that's amazing okay so thank you for following this thank you for following our tutorials we are really happy to provide you this tutorial share it with your friends um, and as well um, uh, you can subscribe to our youtube channel take our courses or whatever and hope to see you in coming tutorials bye bye my name is Ormontoya. please have a great day